Hey everyone, I'm Ed Ballou, and I'm sharing some tips and tricks and another unboxing video for the Helium Network. Come along with me and let's check out the Rack Liner. I was hanging out at home and then I heard the door open and my daughter yells at me, we got a package. And so I wasn't expecting one and lo and behold, I saw a cow chip on there. So let's check this out. Inside a box, another box. Let's look at the juicy details on this one. All right, there we go. Long Phi Helium. Yep. LP Wayne Gateway. This is awesome. It was fun seeing this. I was like, I know what this is. This isn't the OG hotspot. This is the new rack miner. I want to check this out. Now, you may not get a handwritten note from the folks at Calchip, but I did, and I really appreciate it. That was really nice and thoughtful of them to send this out. And they're a great group of people. I love talking with them. They've heard some of my ideas and they ran with them and I think it's helped out with things a lot. So let's check this out. This is your getting started guide, which you don't want to just throw this out. You want to actually open up and read it. So in here, it's got some information on what to do, what to connect, and a place for your 12 seeds words. Now, if you turn it over on the back, you'll notice there's QR codes for where to get your app for your various phones and highly recommend you do that because you can't mine HNT without a wallet. So follow those links, get yourself a wallet and then when you do that you're going to mark down the 12 seeds words. Write them down, duplicate them, put them in safes, put them in safe deposit box, put them wherever you need to because if you lose them that's it. We can't get them back. Nobody can get them back. That's the intention of it is that it's safe and secure for you and only you know this. So keep a hold of this information. Handy dandy notebook. All right, put that back in and then we can keep exploring this. Hey, there's the juicy insides. This is awesome. It's so exciting to see this. I've never seen these in person before. So uh, yeah, it's very interesting. Just pull this out and take a look at it. Now, I lost it, but there did, I opened this once already, but there was a little cover on this to keep the dust out. Yeah, there it is. So, this is the way it came. So they do cons consider, you want to keep this clear of all, any and all debris as much as you can. Otherwise it could cause some problems. So, let's just back up a little bit. Okay, so here we have a couple of ports on there and an ethernet and there's the power on the side there and I want to I don't know if this is a v1 or a v2 I honestly don't I believe it is a v2 but I'm not sure I'll, I'll have to check that out as I as I open it up or not open it up but uh, experiment with it so this is where the antenna goes. That is, let's see if I can get the focus right on this. This is an RP SMA female connection. And that really matters. I'm going to say this a couple times over the course of this video. So here is the antenna that would go along with it. And this had some cool identifiers on there. Can try and get it to focus. There we go. And a nice little logo on the back. So very simple, just like your routers at home that you set, set up. Now keep in mind, this does not connect you to the internet. There, that's pretty cool. So you can put this in a window. I've seen a lot of, win of these in a window cell or in just a very small and conspicuous place. And look, it makes, it, it, mo <laughs> it makes money. There's a YouTube video I watched a long time back that joked about that the, the phone printed money and reminds me of this. It's a really fun video. Also not safe for work. <laughs> 
All right, so here's the power supply. I believe that this is USB-C. I will go ahead and open this up and show you as well. So there it is, there's the connector. So you just connect into the side like this. And then you are good to plug it in, configure it, and then it will start mining for you. you definitely want to put this in a window as high as you can. Uh, that's the other thing, as high as you can. It gets better performance the higher you put it. And if you have an antenna, like I just do, uh, we're going to actually show how to do that. But this is how you set it up. You configure it in the app, and it's very, very simple to start mining. So. Now, let's show you what it's like to hook up the Rack 8DBI antenna. And I had this last fall, I ordered some because I had ordered uh, a couple Nearsons and they did not arrive, so I got the Rack 8DBI. So this is pretty long. It's about three feet long. And when you mount these, you want, definitely want to mount them in a vertical position. Do not try and mount them like this. They will not work. They're intended to send out their signals in a horizontal pattern. In fact, the higher dB that you get, the tighter the beam will be. So these antennas are almost like globe-shaped in sig signal. They're very, very rounded, but then these are more linear, so they'll go out a ways. And I've had a lot of good results on the, the Rack 8 DBI. So that is the Rack. Now, the antenna that comes with the Rack, or sorry, the, the cable that comes with the Rack. And keep in mind, this is the antenna you get, the stock antenna. I had to order that separately. It's a good, good note. Okay, so this is the cable to connect the antenna. And this is an N-type female connector. Okay. And this is the RP SMA male connector. It's very important to understand the difference. And let me go ahead and show you what the difference is between the male and the female connector. And also the fact that it's RP SMA. Don't try and get SMA because you will be down and you won't be able to earn. I did that myself. So I was down for two days because I ordered SMA parts, not RP SMA. So my earnings were kind of RIP for a bit. So that's what it looks like. So this is the, the, ma the male and this is the female connector. Not all hotspots will be like this. For the most part, this is an S RP SMA female. I believe on the Synchrobit it will be different. So it was very simple. You just connect that up to there, connect the other end into your rack AD DBI antenna. And when you do that, you want to just go finger tight. You don't want to over tighten that that can cause problems. Plus it comes with mounting hardware as well. Uh, shout out to Parley Labs. This is actually where I got this one from, so thank you very much. I also gave them a suggestion that, that they could tape the ends of their tube because when I went to go put the, the antenna back in the tube after inspecting it, it fell out the other end. So I quick messaged them and said, hey, can you please tape those? And that would save somebody a headache, and they did. They started doing it and even went back to, to rack themselves and I think they, they are doing it on their end too. So we're all one big community and it's awesome to just make suggestions and they, and they run with them, they listen. So that is the unboxing of the Rack Miner. Hope you've appreciated this video. If you have comments or questions, of course, put them along, along, down below. And thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. I'm going to be here for a, while, for a while sharing more tips, tricks, and ask, answering your questions. Thanks a lot. Bye.